As you see in the other video there, we got one head done with a new valve spring. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. So we got it done and we just got it set on. Got the valve cover on just to see how she looks. And she looks pretty good, she does. But I painted that for a reason that's unknown right now, and I'll show you. But now all we got left to do is the other head. We gotta still lap the valves on this head, put on the new valve seals, the new springs, and then this head will be damn near ready to go. We gotta clean off the surfaces again, of course, but uh, that is what it is. On the videos to come, we finally got in our Brian Tooley valve train components, which is known as a one of them, Jim. So these are pretty nice little kits they are. They're from uh, good friends over there in Michigan Motorsports they are. Thanks boys for sending these out, girls, peoples. It comes with the spacers to push them in. Comes with all the pins. Comes with all new bolts. Comes with a bunch of bearings. Look at all the bearings, holy. And of course the uh, other pieces that go in. So we're gonna be doing that together here shortly to them. So we'll get them all tweaked up and they'll be ready for 7,000 horsepower. I'll be able to put like 30 pounds of boost to them. Also, we got some 10 point millimeter uh, Taylor spark plug wires, which are pretty friggin' decent looking. Leave your comments down below if you use Taylor. Why wouldn't you? I know it didn't need the 10.4s, but what the hell, Jim? And I got a surprise coming for you next week. So that's a little update on what we got to come, which is a whole bunch of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell button, or you'll never be updated when I have something new come out. Now I know that my channel is not growing very fast and I'm very disappointed in all these people watching my videos and not subscribing. I got 54% of you that are watching that are subscribed and I got 49% that are watching that aren't subscribed. If you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed, make sure you freaking subscribe. Why wouldn't you? Come on, man. Like, what's going on? We got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming. Safari vans with LSs and turbos, and it's gonna be friggin' decent. My wife's sitting in the house probably listening to you right now thinking, oh God. But hey, she can sit in the house and think, oh God, all she wants. God ain't gonna help you. Right, babe? Right, babe? Right, babe? Oh, here it is, a lapping compoundage. So we're gonna do some lapping of some valvages. I know you've seen this before, but if you wanna watch, stick around. If you don't wanna watch, take off, eh? Why would you? But we're gonna need a wedge. But you never know what's gonna happen when you watch these kind of videos with me because I'm just dickered over, I am. So I can fuck this all up. Hey, how do you like my Movember stash, eh? If you got a Movember stash, leave a comment down below. I wanna know. Why wouldn't I? What do you think, Cletus McFarlane? Right there with you, bud. I even dyed mine because, you know, you're a lot younger than I am and I, I, I have white hair. So, it is what it is. So, what were we doing? Well, yeah, lapping some valvages. So, we'll start with this one right here because it's right there. We'll get out the old lapping compound here and we'll get out a stick, lace them on the old valve and start going at her. There we go. Slap that in the hole. Get out the little suction McCuppage. Oh God, this is, this is my favorite thing to do on a Friday night, do you believe me? Probably not, because I don't. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What happened? That sounds nice, eh? I love lapping valves. Some guys commented and said, hey, use a drill for this. No, I'm gonna pass on the drill in. I'd be afraid of burning her. Ooh, eh? Ooh. Remember when you're doing this, always be easy, careful, and gentling. Why wouldn't you? Stop by TJ's tonight. He's the one with a nice looking gray square body pickup. And we're gonna do a video coming up here. He's got, stick around for this video because this video you're gonna love. He's got a short box van, Chevy van, that has what they call a V drive in it. She's four wheel drive. So if you want to see that video, make sure you stick around and maybe TJ will uh, get her done with me, hey bud? We'll put a link to his channel at the bottom there once we do that video. But let me know if you want to see a V-Drive van. Like I mean an old school van. I can't remember what year he said it was. I think it's a 79 or something. Might be older than that. Might be a 76. 
I know he's gonna comment on this video and tell him. Oh, careful! What exactly was that all about? Took right off, it did. Oh my god, we did a nice job on that one. See what happens when I'm talking to you on the camera? Things happen. Oh, that's beautiful. That's all that means. So we'll move on to the next one here. Let me move this up real quick before we move on to a different discussion because I can't even remember what I was talking about now, to be honest with you. I'll tell you the truth, I'll be honest with you. I like working on engines. I'm not a big fan of the valve lap that I'm not. This valve looks a little snotty, but we're gonna fix it up right now and make it look really nice. Tell you one thing, it should be nice to get like 10 to 15,000 subscribers to this channel. That would definitely help out this engine build, I tell you. So if you know of anybody that might be interested in my content, share it. Why wouldn't you? They appreciate it. Especially look what I do for Friday night for you. Stay away from the Coronas people and lot battles. Best way to be. Let's take a gander. So like I said, these aren't that bad. Looks pretty good. It's kind of a weird little look right there it is. It must have been from scuffing. We need to give this a little wedge job. Oh, look at that one. That one's decorative. I'll show you before. Don't look too good, does it? Watch. Watch how good it looks after. She's gonna be mid. <sighs> there we go. So you still need a little bit more, but that's 100% better. If we're gonna raise 100% better. Next. Hey, next. We're almost halfway there, Jim. Somebody commented in the last video. Put more lapping compound on it, it actually works faster. And they're 100% right. I wasn't putting enough on the last ones. So I think that's why it was taking me so long to lap the other valves, because these ones were lapping a lot quicker with a little extra compound. Don't be afraid to use that shit, Jim. I'm not, and it's making a difference now. Holy, is it ever. That looks absolutely beautiful. Wish I could show you. <laughs> they probably could, but I'm not gonna. What do you think of that? Freaking right, I'm not gonna. Take my word for it. Anyways, I'm going to continue on lapping here. Well, we accomplished a lot tonight, we did. We ended up getting the valve springs, the valves, and everything cleaned up and back on. So now we got both heads just sitting on the engine, as you can see, covered up to keep it safe. Friggin' right we do. Pack springs on, 1218s, valves lapped, no head gaskets yet, because like I said, we got to test, do the Play-Doh test here once we get the, the next project done. So the next couple days, we're gonna be doing Brian Tooley rocker arm upgrade. So that's the next thing in the list here we're gonna do. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know if you wanna watch this. I was gonna do it with my buddy Donnie because he's doing it too, but uh, I think I'm a little bit ahead of him. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a shot myself because there's not much to it. Those bolts are no longer gonna be any good because Brian Tooley come with some pretty fancy ones he did. So we won't be using them. It should be pretty freaking awesome. But stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video today. It wasn't much, but it was something. I got some excitement stuff coming up here. So we'll get to that. The heads are done, like I said. Thank God. I had fun doing it, but I'm sure you didn't have fun watching me do it. That's the way I look at it. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Love you all. And until next time, you know what to do for now.